completely. There we go, we've got the suction cup working. I didn't get the oh. suction cup working for when we came in. Oh, what's happening Sad. here? <laughs> Somebody else is pulling out. Oh, yeah. So, uh, we've just been into town. Um, you went in separately, didn't you? I did, with your dad, yeah. in his car. And now we're coming out together and my dad's going home on his own, which is kind of sad, but oh well. Um, so, dad. where are we going now? We're going to um, Hartford Kingsmead Charity Shops. Ooh. Yeah, that looks oh. like it's okay. Yeah. Um, we're going to Hartford Kingsmead Charity Shops. We're going to the Stories Lockup. We're going to... And I'm going to drop some boxes off oh, at as well. Book, 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 book. Oh, watch out. What are you doing here? Yeah, um, right in front of me. Um, so, oh God, that's a bit shaky, isn't it? Um, so, uh, what else are we doing? Yeah, and I'm going to drop some boxes off. Um, at, this chat that's yeah. you out. Yes, but we'll say no more than that. I don't want any more than that because they'll find out on Monday anyway. Oh. We're gonna, they're, not, they're not knowing any more than that until Monday. I'm, I think I might ask him as well. I'll say to him, I've got a YouTube channel. Would it be okay if I did a bit of filming? Do you think no. I'm a bit too no. forceful saying that first no. time I've seen him? No. If he says no, it's cool. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna film the, him. The yeah, I'm film the pro I'm not gonna film him, you know. No. If he doesn't wanna be on it, that's fine, that's cool. Mm. I'll just I just wanna film mm. so then you guys can see what's going on, because otherwise it'll be a bit crap really. It will, it will, because I'll be stood there at the lock up, filming myself, seeing what's going on, and then Filming myself again afterwards, and they won't have seen any of the process. No. So, but it is exciting. A well, it's magic. kind of exciting. It is, is it exciting? Yeah, it's, exciting. Uh, it's exciting to me, but it's yeah. probably not exciting that much, really. It's quite standard, but it's really exciting to me. It's progress. It's progress in the right direction, yeah. Um, well, yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there. I think. I think a few more. Once we've done it a few times. And I know what I'm buying and stuff. Oh, I thought that was like a police car then, but it's just some like really bright blue, blue lights on yeah, that car. It's got some jazzy lights. It's like LED, blue LED. Um, no, so we're gonna do. I'm gonna do that on Monday, and I'll film that for you. Um, but yeah, we're going to uh, do so, do another couple of the charity shops. We didn't get to do them on, on Tuesday, did we? No. We didn't end up driving out to the Hartford and Kingsmead like we normally do. I can't well. No, why? Why was it? I don't even know. <laughs> I lit. I don't even know, know why we didn't do it. I know. Or was it Saturday? We went for lunch with Grandma. Oh, and then I didn't have time because I needed to get back to do packing. Yeah, you had loads of parcels to do. So we had a bit of social time. Yeah. But um, it slowed down eBay like the last couple of days. I've not told you, have I? Really, but it slowed down. It has slowed not down. Had an update. I've been busy at work. I slowed down. Um, was even that a car? with your oh, no, sale. Uh, yeah, oh no, my, I think my sale's ended. Yeah, it's ended now. Oh, that's funny. It slowed down the oh, day my sale wow. ended. That's why. Oh, I was dear. wondering. Like, oh, right, oh, right. I didn't. Oh, right, I'm a bit stupid. Like, I, I forgot. I forgot my sale was ending on, on, on uh, 18th, and that's when it slowed down. So, oh, that's why. It's all right. Then. But I've had a few auctions running, so it's not been so bad. <laughs> well, it, it was really good. I only had a 10 percent sale. And it really did work. It worked really well, so I don't did know. Did you get rid of anything that was, was um, really sticking? A few, but not many. But what I, t I did say to you there was a few gone, but you know what was really good? Before Christmas, like early, mid-December, I had a lot of sales, you know, from that green background that we had. Um, I had a lot of sales from that, so I suppose, you know, that helped a little bit, but we still got a few bits on from quite a while back. Really? You'll have to have a look at your green background I'm going to have a look shots. at my green background. Yeah, yeah, I know. See if it pictures me doing what we're But I've done the shirts. The shirts have, have oh, good. Sort, sorted anyway. Yeah. And I've had a couple of sales from my shirt, so that's good. decent. Um, Glad to hear and it. I'm not going to buy any more shirts because I just don't want clothing's for me. <laughs> everyone says, everyone says. It like, was just about here that you said. I'm gonna get into, I'm gonna get women's, into women's clothing. clothing. Oh, and now right. you've just said I don't think clothing's No, free. but <laughs> everyone says, right, they can achieve like really good prices on the same things I'm picking up and I just can't achieve those prices. 
I mean, like, I can't even get 15 quid for a Ben Sherman shirt, and everyone said it's easy to get 15 quid for a Ben Sherman shirt. I, I can't get 15 know, quid for a Ben I Sherman shirt. I think it's your taste. Look, you I've got great photos on that mannequin now. Oh, I've got good photos. Taste. I've got I've got great titles. Unusual taste. Unusual I'm not taste. got unusual taste. It's I just I'm get. I've got right. I've got blue and green. I've just like got blue and green check shirts. Lovely. Fine, that's perfect. I've got like one, okay, I've got like one orangey shirt that's maybe a bit off. Well, and I've got another a, couple of them a little bit a off. Of fashion, exactly. You don't need to be to sell for clothing, that's what everyone says. You don't need to follow fashion to sell clothing. Okay. Well, I don't, I, I do don't know. I haven't a clue. I don't. I do understand that. I just, I'm just not going to do shirts anymore. <laughs> I mean, I really am not because it's not for me. I don't like listing them particularly. It's you know, they're like okay you. to list. It's not like you they're to be okay to list. I know, and I will try clothing again at some point, but it'll be more like I'm good with jackets, like men's coats and jackets. I'm sell, yeah. I can sell them yeah. really easily. But and and again, I'm, I've sold a couple of pairs of men's shoes. It's so cold. But shirts, jeans. I'm great with jeans as well. I can yeah. sell jeans, but. You know, Levi's and that, even though I can't quite achieve what other people are achieving for some reason, you know, people are achieving 30, 35 quid for some Levi's, I can, I'll be lucky if I get 25. I don't know what it is. I don't know what, I've tried photos, I've tried, but no, I just think, I think there's something screaming out at me saying, just don't do this. It's like, with, with certain things, it's easier for me to pick them up and I'm, and more opportunities, I'm drawn to more opportunities of things that I'm interested in. There's a naked man on that billboard up there. Oh my god. <laughs> Al Altered Carbon. Oh, it's a new series. It's on Netflix. Netflix. Altered Carbon. But I don't know. I'm just not going to do clothing. I'm, I'm going to pick up Levi's and I'm going to pick up a few different jeans, like Diesel and stuff, and still do that. But I'm not going to pick up other clothes. Hats. I'm great with hats. See, okay. no, but, no, but, I'm thinking the purple one. No, no, not, not for <laughs> myself, to I mean to sell something. them, okay. but that's what I was just saying about, I, the opportunities come from the niches that I'm interested in, and I can sell really well the things that I'm interested in, even if it is clothing, but the things that I'm try, like I'm forcing myself to do, I'm forcing myself to sell, they don't work because I feel it's because I'm forcing myself to do it. Yes. I just have to sell what I'm interested in and let it flow naturally. Like that brass Go, go, urn. go, go, go. That brass urn. Do you remember that brass urn I got? Yeah. The goats, the goats, um, the one with the goat handle. Oh, yeah. yeah. I said, I'll get 30 quid plus postage for that. It went within a few days, all happy. I paid like 20 quid for the bundle of, of brassware. That's razzle That's here. because Ooh. I'm interested in it. Yeah. You see what I mean? It's, it, I really do think have it, like, having that interest makes you price things better, it makes you look at the market better, and it makes you have um, a better understanding of what is going to sell when and how it's going to sell. You know, you, you improve your photos because you're interested in it, you make your titles good because you're interested in it. Right then, so we are out of the Hartford Charity Shop. Not been in there in ages, have we? No, we um, saw the lady we usually see. Yeah, we saw the lady we usually see. How old is she, like 94? Uh, no, I think it was, it a, no, it was a 90th birthday. Oh, was it a 90th birthday? Oh. Um, uh, in the summer, May time, June yeah. time. And she, and she was there. she's still working there on the counter at like 90, 91. She's really crazy. bright and she's yeah. um, friendly. But yeah, so we've not been in there in what, like, I'd say eight weeks. I'd say six, eight weeks at least. And um, we went in there. I went in there, and I just got into it. I was really happy to be in there again. Oh, sorry, there's a bit of shakiness on the camera there. Um, really happy to be in there, and uh, I found a lovely couple of pieces of glassware. I'm trying to get a little bit more uh, well versed in glassware and things like that, um, but you know it's hard it's a hard niche to, to go into so I'm trying to focus on pieces that have actually got names on so that then I can just research on eBay and it's easy um, but a lot of glassware doesn't actually have names on it's like really hard to uh, to find out which makers actually make it so I'm starting off easy or easier with the with the pieces that obviously sorry I know it's a bit shaky again um, 
that are um, you know obviously easy to research so um, yeah I've done that I've got a lovely couple of pieces I'll show you them when I get back um, and I've got a couple of board games as well which again I'll probably show you when I get back because you know I can't be reaching around there and grabbing things and bit bringing them out and stuff it's just too much hassle in the car really so I'll show you them when I get back we're off to uh, Hartford now uh, Kingsmead now Kingsmead now. Yeah, Kingsmead now. Hopefully there'll be electricals. Yes, I need some like I need some like VHS and stuff like that. I'm really running low. Although saying that, I bought some start leads for the two that I need to get on. Oh right. So, Do you need on. to get them on then? Are they? Well, I mean, we just yeah. sat there, aren't we? Yeah. Plus, you need everything needs to go on if yes. it's not on. No, no, I know that. But we were were they not duplicates then? Or? It doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, no. I can get away. I can get around. As long as it's not duplicate, duplicate. What we're talking about is eb eBay's duplicate listing policy. I got uh, ages ago, about a year and a half ago, mm -hmm. I got a three-day ban from listing. Was it three or seven? Three, oh, I don't know. It was three day. Forever. It was three day. It was you about three day. Up. And um, three day listing ban for duplicate listings on eBay. Now, I know that if you know, I looked into the policies, if you have different photos, if you have different title and stuff, even if it's the same item, you can get away with it and it's not a duplicate listing. But I don't put on anything, or I try not to put on, if, on anything double. So if I've got two games of Twister, let's say, I only put on one, and then the other one goes into a duplicates box, doesn't it? Yes. And then when that first Twister, or whatever it is, sells, then um, obviously I put the next one on. You don't really have that. I've not been having that problem much though recently because obviously I'm doing more antiques and stuff like yes. that. So you don't really get duplicates in that field anyway, or not a lot. So um, yeah, it's been been a lot better really recently with that. Oh, it's shaking again. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll, I'll sign off now and then I'll come back on when we're sort of maybe after King's Mead or after we've been stories lock up, something like that. So, see you in a bit. Hi guys, it's Adam and uh, this is going to be the charity shop haul from today. So, uh, yeah, I didn't do any further recording. We didn't actually go down to the storage lockup. I just didn't need to. I had got a few items today, so I'm going down there on Monday anyway, as you know. So, uh, I'll just get some stuff when I go down there on Monday. Um, so, yeah, I didn't do that, so I just didn't do any more filming, really. I went to drop the boxes off, though, at um, this guy's house. Um, and well, I'll have more information uh, on that on Monday, um, because that relates to this sort of little... Uh, secret plan I've got going or this uh, new little uh, sourcing strategy I've got going so yeah you'll hear more about that on Monday but anyway without further ado I'll just get on with the haul so yeah quite a good haul today uh, first off was this brand new and sealed I love the weekend uh, Gibson's puzzle for £1.50 there you go um, yeah brand new and sealed probably get about 12 quid for it. I can't imagine it's going to be le uh, less than 12 13 quid but I can't imagine it's going to be much more maybe 15 at a push um, I think it does actually have the original price sticker on there but I can't see what it says I think it's like 14 99 or something um, so yeah that was that for £2.50 £2.50 there uh, St Luke's I got this uh, Winkles the dog you see the tag there, Winkles. Uh, vintage uh, Gans Bros toys. Um, yeah, worth looking out for. These were about 20 quid. Anyway, well, the last one I sold was 20 quid, so I'm assuming this one is 20 quid as well, but it's a slightly different style, this, but it's same brand. Um, but yeah, well worth looking out for. Vintage plush there. Um, particular... Articulate your life, brand new and sealed, three pound fifty. I know, I know, it's not focusing in very well, but there, oh, there we go, that's better. Um, I thought it wouldn't do it because sometimes it doesn't focus in very well. Brand new and sealed, as as uh, I said with the other one. Um, yeah, probably gonna be fifteen, twenty quid on Amazon, something like that. Uh, I just picked it up really. I thought three fifty. I can't lose on that. It's gonna be over sort of fifteen quid on Amazon. Uh, test match, great um, one to look out for here. Four ninety nine paid. I've sold this a couple of times for around the forty pounds. So I'm assuming I will have to check, you know, completing solds. But if it is the same price as it was going for about a month ago when I last sold it, then it should be about forty quid still. Doesn't really matter that the box is in rough shape because the other one I sold the box was probably worse than this and I still got 40 quid so yeah that's always good that one um I did actually get something electrical from uh, Kingsmead uh, Panasonic 
Uh, I think it's a NV... NV... I know you can't see that very well. NV-HV60. Uh, Had one of these not long ago. Paid 4 99 for it. It's not got the um, instruction manual or a SCART lead, but I can pick up a SCART lead no trouble. Should be about 40, 50 quid in that. I think the last one I sold, I got about 44, maybe maybe close to 50. But yeah, something like that. So I'm quite happy with that from 4.99. Uh, what else? Uh, oh, it was this I didn't show you. Pick this up for 99p. It's a 3D um, Disney Store exclusive uh, Winnie the Pooh mug. Not really worth doing on their own, in my opinion. You know, okay, you could probably sell them for like six, seven quid on their own, something like that. But prices have come down a little bit. You might be able to get a bit more than that on its own. But what I'll do with this is just bundle it, build, bundle it up with some other Disney stuff that I've already got. And that's why I bought it, because I need some stuff to, bun to do a nice little Disney bundle. So, yeah. But I remember when you could get some decent money for them on their own, like 15 quid, something like that, 12 to 15 quid just on their own. So, yeah, it's a shame prices have come down on them. Um, but I think the market's been flooded a little bit. Um, I got this. It's actually still in the bag. One sec. There we go. Uh, well, kind of out of the bag now. Brand new and sealed History of Britain, Kings and Queens. Three quid. And it's a uh, Usborne book set or two book set uh yeah there's one sold on ebay for 24 quid so i was all over that although it is extremely heavy it's gonna be a 5.99 uh, hermes job that but yeah 24 25 quid for that from three quid i was happy um some lovely uh Dar dartington uh glassware here um i don't know much about glassware but as i mentioned in one of my previous charity shop hauls um, I got that glass decanter because I'm trying to learn more about glassware. I don't know why I'm rolling it around in my hand. It feels quite cool to do that. That's probably why. But yeah, uh, really nice little design. Obviously, it's got some tint. It's like sort of tinted blue glass and it's got this little rim around it here. Really lovely. Uh, the pair cost me 2 dollars Actually, I probably got it on the... Oh no, I think she took it off. But the pair cost me 2 dollars Now, when I rub that there, which I believe is called the Pontal... Um, it's slightly raised now. I know there's different styles of of pontal marks to look out for. Now I don't. I'm not that experienced to know what that is, but I can feel that there is a pontal mark there. So that's quite cool. Um, and yeah, two fifty for a pair. I don't know what I'm looking to get back. I've looked on Complete and Solve all over the place. I can't see any with this blue tint. Um, so I don't know. I really don't know. But I'm hoping it'll be over twenty quid or around the twenty quid because. There's other ones of style of these sort of flutes um, going for about similar money. So, yeah, don't own them, but it'll be good to find out anyway. And then finally, coming over here, I think this is my final piece. I'll just focus that in again. Uh, not really very good. I'm, I'm going to put it here, actually. Um, this is a... Uh, oh, I can't really see that now, actually. But let, let's see if I can get it in the light a bit better. It's a Homgart... Home guard or home guard. Um lovely uh, glass decanter obviously it's got these sort of sunken insides which look really really cool uh, there isn't any cracks or anything like that the stop is in good condition it, it does actually come out fine and everything like that um, so there we go five quid there so I was quite happy to pay five quid looked on well I looked on complete and sold and then there's other ones gone for all over the shop you know as low as like 14 15 quid and then there's other ones that have gone for for way way more than that um there is a similar one a similar one with sort of sunken in glass side at uh, these sides here sunken in a uh, similar one on for about for 37.99 plus postage about about 40 quid anyway so i don't know what i'm gonna go for on that maybe around that price maybe a little less maybe a little more but i have to do a bit more research into that but for a fiver i was gonna take a chance um my plan with glassware currently at the moment uh, until i get uh, some of the conf confidence in the niche to branch out a little bit um but my uh, basically my plan at the moment is just to buy things that actually are branded so i don't think you're going to be able to see it on these very well but there is a brand name on uh, on the bottom here somewhere round round the sort of bottom of the rim here it's like it, it does say dartington uh, it's very, very faint, but you can see it if you look closely. Um, 
so yeah i'm only buying like glassware with a make on and only if i feel it's of quality as well or of of some quality at least so yeah that's those anyway so yeah i'm doing pretty well with my glassware so far uh, I just need to learn a little bit more about it and, and the things to look out for and the signs to look out for. And, yeah, I'll get there in the end. But, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So I think that's my haul. I don't think there's anything else. But it was quite a nice uh, haul for the charity shops because they've been pretty poor recently. So it's always nice when we pick up a little bit. I know there's not, like, a major volume of stuff, but there's probably go getting on for sort of 150 to 200 pounds worth of stuff here. So, you know, I mean, that's like 40, that's 40. The two games between them are about 30. So, I mean, that's like 110 there. And then the glassware between the two, maybe 50, 60 quid, something like that. So, um, yeah, there's some good value of stuff really here. Um, and I don't really like going below sort of you know picking up things below 12 quid 10 quid 12 quid i don't really like doing that anymore so yeah um i do try and focus on fewer items but of better value um so yeah anyway i will uh, leave it there for this video guys if you enjoyed it please do give it a like down below uh, and that lets me know that you are enjoying the content and you are getting some useful information out of it and uh, yeah i will see you in the next one guys see you soon